Say it ain't so, Bezo. Golly, man, it's your boy Bezo with Wills. We back at it again with a, whew, with a nice coat of paint. <laughs> nah, we back at it again with another one, man. Um, let's get to it. This is my Glock 17. I painted it a hundred thousand times. Um, this is a uh, candy apple red, but it does not look candy apple red anymore because I did leave it. This is first off. Let's get a lot of things out of the way. Um, I do not carry this particular gun. I carry a SIG. Um, the guns that I paint, I do not carry. This particular gun, I might go to the range. I might go outside um, on some acres that's legal to shoot a uh, firearm. So um, that's why I normally test my guns to make sure they're function, sh functioning properly. Uh, this one actually does great. This has no issues. Um I shot this one on video after I painted it plum crazy purple and white, I believe. Yes. Um, but I do not plan on wasting any more rounds. No, sir. Uh, because the rounds is, uh, you're going to pay a hefty price just for some nine millimeters. So today's objective, we're going to paint this bad boy Kobo blue. And then we're going to have this polymer gray, destroyer gray at that. And I'm still, de oh, never mind. I don't have any more blue. No, I don't have any more pearl. I was going to have it. The polymer pearl but i think i'm gonna keep the polymer um the handle in case y'all don't know what i'm talking about uh i think i'm gonna keep it um just matte matte destroyer gray and then have everything else the buttons and etc blue Ooh, look at that let's take a look at it quick let's talk about the setup um two big doors that were tetris together um that i <laughs> can i explain no nah, I, I ran out of wood and i wasn't about i was on a budget man i had to make it work i'm a work it, they function they good they good i think you might hear a little pop every now and then but hey they good got my bezo with wheel sign man y'all hit that button y'all hit that subscribe button man my cousin actually painted this one um from scratch just just literally freehand everything and man, shoo, came out great. So yeah, got my little barn doors. Um, got one, two, three, four, five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 15 lights, 14, 15 lights, about 10 fans. I think three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yep. Got an air hose on that side, air hose on that side. Got an outlet. Um, yeah, um, it, it functions. Eh, it could be better, but, um, my, I got about a, two and a half foot three foot room back there all my overspray is pulled right into the fans and then normally it's filters over here but i don't have them i i get lazy i don't be putting them up all the time and then there's two pipes that go straight outside to the ceiling and take that overspray out the only downfall is i don't have the the cutouts for some you know fresh air coming in as far as filters I'm um, not really worried about that because eventually I was going to upgrade on the doors. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Uh, yeah, we're going to start dissembling this gun. Yeah, I'm not a gun expert. So uh, I did take this apart a lot. Like I said, I don't, I'm not, a lot of people ask me about the sights. I don't really care about the sights because that's not what my channel is about. Perfecting guns, I can say, I guess. Um, I get some people that's like, hey, don't paint the sights, cover the sights up. Okay, cool, I can do that. But I get a lot of, I get a few people that'll comment and say why, why I didn't cover up the sights. Because I'm not really, I'm not sweating. I don't plan on covering up the sights. Eh, well, they might set it off if I do, if I do uh, cover up the sights. I think it'll look mean. It depends. It depends how I look. 
let's get it disassembled. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to show y'all step by step on how we get it in the part, taking it apart. So let's get it. First things first, we gonna do a safety check. Safety check, safety check, safety check. That's the first thing you wanna make sure. Well, really, let's redo that. Let's redo that. Cut. Pick up the gun, take the mag out. There we go. And then make sure the hand is not on the trigger. Do it a few times. Let your back. Look in there, stick your finger in there, make sure there ain't no bullet. We in the game. So uh, yeah, other than that, Glocks, they're fairly easy to disassemble. Um, rack it back a few times. Pull the trigger. Uh, you're gonna grab the slide, maybe about half an inch, maybe a full inch. Ah, oh, this is gonna be hard, I ain't gotta. And then, just like that. Take it all the way apart. Boom, you're gonna put this up in the drawer or in your cup. Ooh. Almost <laughs> drop that much. All right, take both pieces out. We won't be painting those. A lot of people have asked me, can you paint these? Why don't you paint these? I'm not painting these. You can actually get them already. I don't know if they're powder coated or painted already, but you can actually, well, this part, the barrel, you can get a gold one. I've seen gold one, chameleon one, silver, black, blue, all types of colors. I'm not paint, painting these. I'm staying away from them. I'm only painting this. Now, when we paint this, all you're doing is just masking up the top half so you don't get any overspray in here um simple as that just cover it up throw a piece of tape maybe some paper towels or tissue whatever you got it does not have to be super critical um as you can see you can actually see some old paint that i had when i painted it uh plum crazy purple i see red in there i see green in there i see gold in there i painted it multiple multiple times i haven't had any issues if I did have any issues, it was because I did not put it together properly. It had nothing to do with the paint, had nothing to do with that. I get a lot of people that tell me, I hope it, I hope it jams on you. It's fucked up, yo. <laughs> Damn, y'all don't want me to die, golly. Anyway, but, but, but don't worry because my SIG don't jam. And um, other than that, we're gonna paint this, we're gonna paint this. Everything that's red, we're gonna paint blue. So uh, yeah, let's get let's get to it. All right, so mind you, I'm not a gun expert. I don't, I can't tell you verbatim or exactly step by step. So I just start, I start messing with stuff, you know? <laughs> anyway, uh, you're gonna need a push pin for sure. I just push all my pins out first. Um, mine's is already pre-pushed. So I had somebody comment was like, your gun's probably gonna fall apart because the way how simple and easy, the pins just slid right on out of there. That's because I had it already pushed out, brother. <laughs> um, yeah, it should be three. Should be three. I believe they can go either way. I think it's. I think it's fine. So we got. We got one. We got one pushed out. We got the top, the bottom one, and the top one. I think everything else should just slide right on out. So, as y'all can see, I didn't mess with anything but the pins. So let's see if it it'll slide right out. Oh well. First, this is what I'm doing first. Cause I think I remember that. All right, boom. That just lift right out. That's one. Um, the second one is the trigger. Let's get it. We got one more, uh, which is the mag release. That one used to give me the hardest because where it's at. I've explained this on my previous videos, but you literally have to. Okay, you see. I think you should see it move. Hold on. Hmm. Uh, the pin, yeah, the pin ain't moving, but if I can get this on video, that'd be hard. But you wanna try. Oh, there you go, right there. Once you get that out the way, this can slide all the way out. Let's get it, I'm getting good. It's all repetition, man, no matter what you do in life. No matter what you're doing in life. Nine times out of 10, the first time you do it, it's gonna be hard. Second time is gonna be still kind of hard. Third time is gonna be like, mm, all right. Fourth time is you gonna get better and better and better. Uh, so yeah, there we are. We naked. <laughs> I mean, the gun's naked. <laughs> um, yeah, this part to get that you can paint it. I've painted it probably twice and was successful at it to where it came. It, it looked pretty good, but this time, as you can see, there's no red. 
All right, man, let's, let's get to it. I think this one, oh, this right here, you're going to press this little bar down. When you press it down, it should just fall out of there. Like so, man, let's go. Oh, I'm going to shake myself. Man. Let's go. All right, man. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to start sanding it. Um, I think we're going to either soak it in some lacquer thinner or we're going to sand it. We're going to soak this in some lacquer thinner. Y'all give me a second. That candy red was nice though, but hey, look, 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 look. Anyway, we got, um, we got some uh, paint remover. Trying to think of where you can get it from. I got this one at my local paint store. You might be able to get it. You can go get it from probably O'Reilly's or AutoZone. And I got a little bit of um, lacquer thinner. I had used it for something else. That's why it's colored like that. But we're gonna throw our little pieces in there. I, I'm, look. I didn't did this a year ago. I painted my guns a year ago and I haven't had any, any issues with them. So unless you doing it and you experience those things yourself, then, then yeah, drop, drop a comment, drop a comment. Other than that, I get a lot of people like, that's the dumbest. Your gun is going to look, man, just do it. Just do it. I'll put the, I'll put all these pieces in lacquer thinner. It's, it's not going to destroy the plastic. I've, I've put this gun, I've soaked this gun in so much lacquer thinner, and this thing shoots perfect, immaculate. So, um, do your due diligence before you start judging me on what I do. You know what I mean? I'm not about to tell you how to cut your yard. Come on, man. Let's get it. Now this, dang. Yeah, so we got gun cleaner, and then we got lacquer thinner. Um, we're going to let those pieces soak up in there. Now, as you can see, all red tea. Ooh. Ooh, that is nasty, boy. Let that do its job. Let's get it. All right, so we got the pieces. Got the pieces soaking in this lacquer. Ugh, bro. It, I promise, it ain't even been twenty. It ain't even been two minutes. So we let that's clearly doing its job. But then on this polymer, since it's we don't have a lot of lacquer thinner, so we just gonna probably spray this down. Let it do its thing. Let it sit. Um, I really could have just, nah, I'd rather just restart. I about to say, I really could have just scuffed it up with some scotch bright and then um, and then just painted it, but I probably should have did, probably should have did that. But man, look, I paint cars. I paint guns every now and then. Um, I kind of experienced this on accident, just painting anything. So, we gonna just let that sit, man. Other than that, let them soak. Or if you, I would, I wouldn't even. Uh, never mind. Let me not get ahead of myself. I'll explain it here in a minute. send it this way worked because i cannot get this off i don't this is some good ass paint i just think it's some good ass paint as a matter of fact i think it's uh omni omni brand white this is not coming off like this as y'all can see the red came right off just slipped right off and this was the house of color red but i soaked i soaked this all of these pieces Literally, I, it wasn't no more than 30 seconds to a minute. And that red slid right off. But this white is not budging. I mean, this, this, is, this got soaked in gun cleaner and lacquer thinner. And yeah, so um, we're going to go ahead and sand these bad boys down. Um, 
with some, I'm gonna do some 180. I'm gonna do some 180. And then we're gonna prime it. We're gonna put the primer right on top 180. Uh, the reason I'm sanding it is because you're gonna feel it. You're gonna see it. It's gonna be noticeable. So I'm gonna sand both these pieces with some 180. And then I'm gonna buzz over this probably with some 320 and then um, go from there. So I'll cut y'all back on uh, once we cut it. I mean, once we um, sand these pieces, uh, it's fairly simple. You just, if you don't have a DA, grab some sandpaper and just scuff it up to where it's really smooth. Because if you feel it, you're gonna see it. If you feel it and you paint it, you're gonna see it. So our, our main objective is to get it really, really smooth so we can prime it. All right, man, as y'all can see, we got these pieces smooth. We're almost damn near back to normal. Nah, I lied. Up. Oh, y'all see that? Stop. Yeah. All right, my bad. Um, anyways, yeah, man, we gonna knock this bad boy down a little bit more. Then we gonna get these bad boys on the road. Let's get it. Got the guns hanging up. Well, the gun hanging up. Uh, got it all sanded down. Wiped down with some wax and grease remover. Um, Self-explanatory. Just mask up the center. Mask up everything that you don't want to be painted. Let me roll this up. Oh, there we go. All right, just like that. Got the polymer right here. Scotch brighted. Um, I went ahead and sanded down the areas that you gotta apply your thumb at because um, if I would have did another coat without doing that, it would have been it would have been really really hard to get those uh, pins pressed in and down. Um, just just on that part, just to uh, release the slot. So we got a primer over here. Let's go ahead. Take it up. All right, so primer is primer. I got 2K primer. Um, you can get, you can get House of Color paint in a can. That's a hundred and thirty dollars. No, that's a hundred. I think it's a hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah, it's a hundred and thirty dollars a quart. Um, my point is, just because it's in a can doesn't mean it's cheap. Doesn't mean it won't work. Doesn't mean you're half-assing it. That that's not the case. So, um, they sell high dollar paint in a can because i get a lot of comments with people saying i wouldn't have used paint can or can paint in a on a gun or on anything expensive yeah know your facts know your facts um and now we're gonna go ahead and prime it we're gonna prime it first then we're gonna do the base coat which is the silver for the uh no 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 we'll prime it first and we're gonna do our destroyer gray that way we can get that out the way because everything else will be blue so uh yeah let's get to it
Alright, got the hand grip polymer looking pretty smooth. Got a destroyer gray. We're gonna move this because we're gonna be spraying, spraying some blue. So don't want no overspray on that. See if we can move it without dropping it. Alright, bit. There we go. Yes, sir. All right, so that gray should really complement that blue. We're going to move this out the way. Dang, it look good already. Let's get it. All right, now we got our silver loaded up. This has to be, you can do black. I, I, yeah, you can do black, but it'll change the tone. It'll kind of, I think it'll kind of have it a little bit deeper than what I want it to go. So I'm using silver. You can do silver or black base coat. Um, meaning if you put another color on top of another color, it can change the tone of it. So that's what I mean by base coat. So we'll do uh, the silver, then we'll apply the blue over there, and then we'll clear it. Let's get it.
drop some little facts, um, just a little quick little rundown. So, um, with the polymer, if if you wanted to paint your gun um, like this in particular, um, what I would do is just take your Glock apart. If it's never been painted, if it's never been worked on or anything, you're just interested in painting. Um, what I would do is take it all the way apart, break it down, put everything aside. You don't want painted, put everything aside. You do want painted. And, um, <clears throat> I would scuff this slide down with some 180 grit sandpaper. If you don't have none, you can get it from like, maybe you can get it from O'Reilly. You can get it from AutoZone. Um, you can probably get it from Walmart. 180 grit sandpaper. And you're going to scuff that whole thing down. You want some deep scratches in there. Get it real, 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 you know. Uh, good scuff everything up because if you don't whatever area you don't hit that's where the paint will peel off it's not about it's not necessarily about um, the quality of the paint that you get it's about the prep I've seen people use some some super duper cheap paint and it stick better than you know uh, expensive paint just because the way they prepped it prepping is is the sanding process and the cleaning process before you paint it so scuff everything up with some 180 grit sandpaper i would say the slide and the magazine as you can see you don't see i mean you see my smudges but you don't see any deep 180 grit sandpaper uh, scratches because we're gonna prime it you prime it so you scuff everything you scuff the, the slide you scuff the mag and then you can scotch bright your polymer just go get some scotch bright some red scotch bright scuff the whole thing you want the paint to soak into something if I put paint on top of this car right here and and without scratching or anything, that shit going to peel right off because it's not the paint is not absorbing into anything. So that's why we put those 80 grit scratches, 180 grit. After that, you're going to prime it. Primer will soak into those scratches really, really good. Really good. It'll soak into there. It'll make it look smooth, even. It'll flatten out. Once you prime it or once you prime it, you have the option to uh sand that primer down with some 600 grit i don't this is i did not scuff this down with 600 grit um basically you're just smoothing smoothing the primer down and um it will be a lot lot smoother if you do it that way but i did not because one it's not a car i'm not trying to go crazy with it um so this is the results that you would get you could probably get it a little bit smoother but hey um it definitely came out really really good um now look this is this was not sanded this was not sanded I, I i completely forgot about that um and this is what you will get if it's trash if it's old sandpaper if i mean if it's old uh you know anything in that paint that's what the results you will get so definitely want to make sure everything is smooth if it's, if it's not smooth before you paint it you're going to see it you're going to feel it and it's going to be noticeable so to get the best results get into an environment where there's not a lot of dust flying around flying around there's not a lot of trash um the air is still so yeah scuff it back scuff it down with some 80 grit 80 grit then prime it you can get some primer from walmart o'reilly's AutoZone. then after you prime it get the paint that you're wanting to apply on your gun you spray that primer on there let it sit for about 15 minutes let it dry let it fully dry then you have the option to Sand that primer down. If you don't want to do that work, just paint on top of the primer. So prime it, wait 15 minutes, then paint it whatever color you want. And the only thing different that I'm doing is using automotive paint and automotive clear. Um, this right here was obviously uh, the, the white. Uh, no, no. I had it. I had a teal one day. I had it black and then the teal. That teal was in a can. That, that, uh, that teal came out perfect. I ain't had no issues with it, um, but uh, automotive clear. That's what I use. They had they sell clear coat in in uh, in a can. You can get that can clear coat at AutoZone. So everything you need to do to paint this gun is at AutoZone or Riley, except for the stencils. They might even have a stencil shit. But for the most part, man, it's fairly smooth. Um, I love the way it came out. Um, if y'all got any other questions, y'all hit those like like uh i mean drop the comment you know so uh i love it man i love it i'm trying to pretty much just go over everything else uh before i end this video just to help out the next person because i got i got about fifty two thousand people that hadn't seen my last gun video so i appreciate y'all y'all hit that subscribe button man um eventually we'll get some functioning text pretty soon yeah man real i ain't i don't even want to end this video right now um give me just a second let me admire the metallics that's in these um, 
Which one y'all take? Uh, I know which one y'all taking. This th I take this one. Oh my gosh, this is custom everything. So yeah. Sheesh. 